good afternoon folks welcome back to another exciting adventure we're doing some fishing at this little pond for some brook trout and if we're lucky tiger trout there are some very nice tiger trout in this pond i got my spinning rod we're gonna throw some jigs at them and hopefully they're hungry it's about noon right now so we got a few hours to fish stay tuned Oh, there's some fish right there. Let's see if they'll go for it. First cast. I think I spooked them, but they're still right there. Let's see. Come on, buddy. There's three brook trout right there. Oh, shoot. I think he's scared of it. Yeah, he doesn't want anything to do with it. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. First one. He bit it before I could even take a crank on my reel. Nice brook trout. First one of the day. That is not a bad one. Check it out. That is not a bad brookie right there. Good way to start. On the black and yellow jig. Look at that. Beautiful. That is not a bad sized fish for this pond either. Thanks for biting. Hopefully that's the first one of many. See ya. All right, I know there's a lot more out there. Like I said, I saw like six sitting up here on shore. So there's more out there. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Flip him in our net. There we go. I was watching that dude. I could I sight fished him. He was hanging out right under that log. Tossed my jig right next to him. Jigged it a few times. He came over and munched it up. That is a gorgeous colored out brook trout. Usually they don't have these dark colors until the fall. Wow. Look at that. Man, that's a beautiful fish. I love brook trout. We'll go ahead and get him back. Right back where he came from under this big log. And there he goes. Right back under this log. Caught two fish with that last jig and it started coming unraveled. So we've switched to the lime green and white. We'll see how this one does. Oh, there's one, there's one. Got him. That's a good one. Right from underneath this log. I'm telling you, if you're going for brook trout, cast near logs. There's always some fish hiding under them. That is a big old fish too. Nice. That is a solid brookie. <laughs> Look at that. That is freaking awesome. And he wanted it too. Like he swallowed that jig. Let's see if we can get it out for him. There we go. That wasn't too bad. You're lucky, buddy. Get some pictures of you and let you go. There we go. Thanks for biting, buddy. Man, that's a good fish. Come on. You're all right. There he goes. This water is actually kind of warm. We're not too far into the summer, and I'd say the first foot or so of water is, honestly, you could probably swim in it comfortably. Although I would never swim in this nasty stuff. Hooked up, guys. Hooked up on a good tiger trout. Check that out. <laughs> I had my camera off for like five minutes, and of course, that's when I hook up on the big tiger. Check it out. That is a beautiful tiger. That's the first one I've caught in a while. My goodness, of course. Literally, I turned my camera off for five minutes and then we hook up on the big tiger. 
Holy. There we go. First tiger trout of the day, fourth fish of the day. I just wish I had my camera on because that was an epic eat. We'll let him go here. All right, buddy, get out of here. Oh, heck yeah, folks. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's just a little guy. He came over without hesitation and just ate it right up. And this is actually the first fish in like an hour. It has been very slow. I caught four fish pretty quick and then it just kind of died. This is a little fish, but it's a fat fish. It ain't very big, but it is chunky. Get him back. See ya. Got him. There we go. There we go. There we go. I switched it up to a fly. I don't even have my fly rod, but I just tied a balanced leech and a little green copper john, tossed it under this log. He came out and clocked it. Been fishing all day with jigs, and I caught some fish, but it just has not been great. Tie some flies on, and immediately get hit. There we go, I think we figured out what they want. It's another solid brook trout. We'll just get him back here quick. Now that we know what they want, cause he just came out from under this log with no hesitation and just immediately ate it right up. The only bad part is I can't cast it very far. And the good thing is most of the fish I've seen are just right up on shore. Oh, there's one, there's one. Got him, got him. I almost doubled up. There's another one right next to him. On the nymph. Dude, <laughs> they want the flies. This was a bad day to forget my fly rod. Just goes to show you, you don't need a fly rod to fly fish. I'll just pop that fly out for him. Right in the bottom of the mouth. Calm down, friend, we'll get you back. See ya. There's a nice tiger. Oh. There's a nice tiger trout. Oh, come on, come on. He denied my flies. Oh, 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 oh. Got him, got him. Got him, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. He ate the leech. <laughs> I watched him pick up the leech. Oh my goodness, look at that fish. Got him. Oh, holy crap. That's a giant tiger. That is a giant tiger. Check that out, dude. On the fly. I am so grateful. I decided to just break out my fly box. I saw him like he came over to the leech. He had it in his mouth. He was kind of like playing with it, but he didn't quite have it. And I just waited for him to barely get it in his mouth. And I pinned him right there in the top of the nose. That was one of the coolest fish catches I've had in a long time. And he was barely hooked, it just fell right out. There we go. Second tiger of the day, biggest fish of the day by far. That's, that first tiger wasn't quite as big. And this is a stud. Beautiful colors, beautiful patterns. I love these fish, dude. All right, beautiful fish. Probably a 16 or 17 inch tiger on the leech, <laughs> on my spinning rod. I'll let you go, buddy. I'll let you go get even bigger. By next year, he's gonna be three, four inches bigger than this. Then we'll come back and catch him again. There he goes. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish on the fly. Just right along this log. What is it? This is a good fish or it's snagged. I can't tell. Well, it's a decent brook. It's a decent brook trout. 
Oh, I did snag him. What the world? How did I snag him? He must have swiped at it. Yeah, well, either way, good fish. Pop that hook out of his stomach. Sorry about that, buddy. See you later. There he goes. Yeah, he definitely went for it. I must have just lifted up right when he was swimming away and got him right in the stomach. There we go, fish on. There we go. On the jig, I switched back to a jig. And that was about the fourth cast with it. Nice brook. Come here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This one would be good for the pan. Perfect size, but we're doing all catch and release today. Why don't you go, buddy? See ya. Alright folks, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Caught a lot of nice fish, a handful of nice brook trout, and two bonus tiger trout which were awesome. Like I said, I haven't been catching very many tigers this year. It's kind of been like one here and there. So those two fish really felt good. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Lots more videos to come, hopefully more big brook trout and tiger trout. I'll see you guys in the next one.